using matrices to solve systems of equations on the graphing calculator. The use of matrices to solve systems of simultaneous linear equations was invented in China some 2,000 years ago. The scope of this video will be to take systems of equations, organize these systems into matrices, then use the graphing calculator to calculate the solution to the system of equations and then finally to interpret the calculator's output to describe the solution to the system of equations. For solving using matrices you need to have a system of equations in standard form such as this system of equations, the equations 2m plus 2n equals negative 8 and 6m plus 4n equals negative 18 which means that they are both in the form ax plus by equals c. Letters other than x and y do not make a difference and should not bother you. If you have a system of equations where the equations are in slope-intercept form, such as this system, your most efficient approach is uh, maybe solving with the calculator, maybe by putting the equations in y equal view and solve the equation of uh, the system by pressing second, trace five, enter, enter, enter. But for solving systems in standard form, such as this one, using matrices is a great way to do it. You have to make sure that the terms above each other are like terms. For instance, if you have this system with the bottom equation having the y term first, 5y, you need to use the commutative property of addition and switch the places of this x term and y term to line up directly underneath the like terms in the top equation. If you have a mixed system of equations like this one where you have one equation in standard form and the other in slope-intercept form, you can change the slope-intercept form equation into ax plus by equals c form by moving the independent variable term on the one side to the other side and changing the sign of the term. Whatever the case, if they're not perfectly lined up, you will need to use some basic algebra to get all the terms in the correct place. Let's look at this first system of equations. We have 4x plus 3y equals 6 and x plus 3y equals negative 3. We have to look carefully and see that each equation is in ax plus by equals c form and we see that each equation is. In conventional use of matrices, these systems are rewritten in matrix array form as shown here. The coefficients of the x and y terms are arrayed here on the left. The x and y variables go here in the center in this order, first the variable on top and second variable on the bottom. And finally the constant terms or numbers are arrayed to the right of the equal sign. But instead of writing out the matrices by hand, we can enter the equations in this form directly into a matrix in the calculator. We need to get to the matrix menu by pressing second, then press the x to the negative one power key on the left that has the matrix above it. This is the matrix menu. Arrow twice to the right to access the edit sub menu. Press enter. We are now in a matrix setup screen with the cursor blinking over that first one. This is where we set up the dimensions of the matrix. We look at the system we're solving and see that it is lined out in two rows and in three columns. This calls for a two by three matrix. We press two, then enter. This takes us to the right where we need to enter the number of columns. Press three, then enter. Now the matrix is set up for us to enter our values. First we enter the coefficient of x, which is four, then press enter. We see the four entered properly here. Now press the coefficient of y, which is three, then press enter. We see 3 in the proper place. Enter the constant term on the right, which is 6. Press enter. We see the constant 6 in its proper place. Now we enter the coefficient of x in the second equation. What's the coefficient of x if it's just x? Well, it's 1, as in 1x. Press enter. We see the 1 in the proper place in the matrix. Enter 3, which is the coefficient of y in the second equation. Press enter. We see 3 in the proper place. Now enter the constant of the second equation by pressing the negative sign, then 3. Press enter. We see that negative 3 is in its place. Now we compare the numbers in the matrix to those in the system of equations to make sure they're all correct. And seeing that they are, we clear the screen by pressing second, then the mode key right next to it which gives you quit. For the next step, press second, then the x to the negative 1 key on the left to access the matrix menu. Arrow once to the right to the math submenu. 
Arrow down until you get to the RREF choice. RREF stands for Reduced Row Echelon Form. And I'll just mention it here, a little shortcut. Instead of scrolling all the way down to B, you can access RREF by pressing Alpha, then the Apps key that has the B above it. Press Enter. Now we enter matrix A by pressing 2nd, then the X to the negative 1 key again on the left for matrix. We are in the matrix names submenu, and A is already highlighted. Press Enter. Now we press the closing parentheses. Press Enter. This is matrix A in reduced row echelon form. The key numbers are the ones on the right of the matrix. The 3 means that for the solution the value of x is 3 and the negative 2 means that the value of y is negative 2. Let's write down the solution of 3 comma negative 2 before checking. We check our solution by storing 3 for x and negative 2 for y. We press 3 storage x then enter then negative 2 storage y then enter. The storage key is just above the on key. We try out our first equation by pressing 4x plus 3y, then enter. We see that we have 6, the same as for our original equation. Check. Now we enter the left side of the second equation, x plus 3y, and press enter. We see that negative 3 matches the negative 3 on the right side of the original equation. Check. We have proven our solution. Let's try another system of equations. This one is 2p minus q equals 6 and 2p plus q equals 10. Stop the video and solve the system using a matrix. Remember that you get to the matrix menu by pressing 2nd then x to the negative 1 power. Go to the edit submenu first to enter the matrix. Clear then go to the math submenu to enter RREF then solve by going to the name submenu for matrix A. Restart the video to see if you got the correct answer. Here is the equation entered in matrix form on the calculator. Note how the numbers are the same as those in the system of equations we're evaluating. And here it is in reduced row echelon form. The solution is P equals 4 and Q equals 2. And here's the completed check of the solution. We get 6 and 10 just like the original equations. This check is not really not a check of whether the calculator figured it out correctly, but a check that we entered the matrix values correctly in the first place to result in a correct solution. So far we've looked at systems with two unknowns and two equations. Those could have been solved using any of a great number of methods, including graphing and quite easily using elimination and other means. The power of using this feature, the matrix feature, of the calculator increases greatly when we need to solve systems with more than two equations. Let's look at this system here. We have the three equations, 2x minus y plus 3z equals negative 2, x plus 4y minus 2z equals 16, and 5x plus y minus z equals 14. For this matrix, we have three rows and four columns. So we press second matrix, then go to the edit and enter it as a 3 by 4 matrix as shown. Next we enter all the numbers into the matrix, which is not completely visible here because we see only three columns at once. I'm showing the matrix entered in red, but we see only the three columns on the right entered. We clear the screen by pressing second, then mode for quit. We go to second, then matrix, then math to get this view. Then we can scroll down to B, RREF for reduced row echelon form. Press enter. Press second matrix one last time. We're at the names submenu. Press enter. Close parentheses. Press enter. This is where we see the coordinates for X, Y, and Z on the right side. So we can write this in coordinate notation as 2, 3, negative 1. So x is 2, y is 3, z is negative 1. And again as we did earlier, we can store the coordinate numbers for x, y, and z as shown here. Then we can enter the equations and see what we get. And we see that this solution satisfies all three equations and is correct. Now just a few things to remember. Have the equations lined up in standard form, all like terms in the same columns. Secondly, 
Enter the matrix menu by going to second, then x to the negative one power, then go to edit. This is what the matrix looks like on the calculator. Clear the screen and go to matrix math and scroll down to RREF, then enter. Alternatively, you can press alpha, then B to avoid scrolling. Enter matrix A by going to the matrix menu, then pressing enter. Close the parentheses, then press enter. Pick out the two numbers on the right. They will be your solution. This has been using matrices to solve systems of equations on the graphing calculator. Thanks for viewing.